So my first unboxing video, and it is not a new product. It is the baseline for our new rover. Assuming it uh, is it all in any kind of working condition. Let's see. All right. Oof. Well, that's that box. Hmm. About all there was in there. The big track fully programmable electronic tank toy. Well, in the pictures, I thought the boxes looked better. So now I don't feel so bad about messing, throwing away the boxes <laughs> or not needing the boxes. Let's see. more packaging. The ever so used manual. Luckily there's a PDF of this online. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. We got one big block. I didn't notice the floating front suspension. Is it supposed to be floating? I guess we'll see. <laughs> well, that's it for that. That's the big track itself. I thought we were getting the transporter too, but that may still be coming in another package. So let's see. Oh, come on now. The four D batteries. Is this supposed to come off? There we go. So yeah, it looks like 4D size, which we do not have. Back in the 80s where they, they trusted your kids to not uh, eat batteries. So they didn't require screws on the battery compartment. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. Looks pretty much intact. Not totally sure of that front suspension. There's something missing in this front suspension, maybe a spring. We'll have to take a look at it. Well, there she be. Hopefully, we'll get the transport in the next couple of days. I need to go off to the store to get some batteries. And we'll see how well it works. You're all right. All right. So we've got the manual, the machine, and some batteries. I, of course, sat down without getting any way to un open the batteries because that's how I did roll I suppose let's just fight it open arr, arr. cut this with scissors it says why well, cut it with scissors when you can put in a screwdriver and twist it around until it snaps right <laughs> the batteries And begin with the scissors. Ooh, that's some tougher stuff. There we go.
one. My bolt. All right. Should we read the manual for how to put in the batteries? I don't know. so he doesn't accidentally roll off the table. Power on. That doesn't seem like it uh, has done much of anything different. Test button. Well, it went. Nice sound effects, eh? Very 80s. <laughs> well, it went forward, it stopped, it fired a cannon, it came back. Seems like uh, most things are working. Looks like this piece here, different molded section. So, here's the plan for Mr. Trek. Let's see. Fire three. All righty then. <laughs> so let's clear everything out. And let's try a forward one. Put him here. My marker. And then we'll go backwards. One. Go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it came back pretty much where it left off. Huh. Ah. All in all, looking pretty, pretty working as far as I can tell. It does most of the things it's supposed to do so far. I'm never quite sure the suspension looks weak. Looks like it, no, well, maybe it's supposed to be. I thought it had more of a spring up front. But I do remember it kind of, let's see if we can go around in some circles here. Clear. Turn right, and 15 degrees is supposed to be 15 minutes on the clock. Hmm. That seems wrong. <laughs> All right. Well, it doesn't seem to be quite completely working. Turn. Right. Fifteen. And a little bit rough in the motor there. Let's see. I can understand why my parents hated this thing after they got it. It's loud and noisy. It seems to check out mostly. It's got a little bit of, little bit of stuckness when it comes to turning. 
Um, I think that's probably just lack of use and old bearings and things like that. We may uh, be able to trim that up a bit. Certainly we want a volume control on the next one. No, actually uh, the plan is that this, where the nine volt is, conveniently bayonet style connection, um, will become domed and we'll have the camera. All right, turn you off. It'll be a dome and have the camera looking out. We might replace the photon cannon with an actual laser. Uh, not a burning laser, just the regular laser pointer, just for the effect. We're not uh, planning on harming anything here. So, uh, and then this back section, which I'm not sure how much of this back section I may redo. I was thinking I can sort of square this off and then be able to fit within this compartment here all of our new electronics. Uh, obviously, if we got the battery pack space for the battery, uh, which will definitely be changed out. Um, but then really just this cover area here, and that should be enough space. I might, I'm not sure if it'll hold the whole Raspberry Pi. I think I might go with the Pi Zero, Pi Zero wireless, which is maybe the size of a quarter. <laughs> maybe the size of the, well, actually about the size of this square here. All right. Well, next video, we'll start the, tear down process and see if we can get the tires to behave better and uh, we'll start the analysis of uh, the circuitry and all those kinds of fun things but i think that's it for now thanks for tuning in see you next time be sure to like and subscribe and all like that otherwise how can we bring you such fun stuff take it, take it, take it.